Welcome back everyone. So the topic that I want to go over right now is read, watch, and listen to good influences. Now, we go through each day having some sort of influence, right? Good influences, we're influencing others and others are influencing back on us. So what are the priorities in your life right now? Are your priorities you want to go home and immediately grab a drink and jump on the recliner? Or you want to watch TV for hours or watch social media or get on social media for hours? Or are your priorities completing a task so it doesn't get pushed back for months or even years? Or are your priorities going to talk to your children and asking them the good and bad things about their day? What they uh, need help with, what you can help them with, any questions and how you can be their best friend? Or is your priority going to your significant other and holding them and caressing them, uh, letting them know if they had any failures that day that they can lean on you and you can support them? Or if they had any victories that you can celebrate with them? Wherever your priorities are, your influences has made them that way, right? Priorities come from influences, okay? And I've talked to people that just say, well, I, I just don't like doing things with many people. I just want to be by myself. And they'll have an opportunity within grasp. They'll, they can just reach over and talk to this person or reach out to that person or take advantage of this career path or this good memory. And then the moment that it is gone and gone for good, that feeling of regret sinks in so quick and it can last so long, sometimes an entire lifetime. And then when they get to be alone and that opportunity has gone, they don't want to be alone anymore because that feeling of regret and just being down sets in. I really want us all to focus and realize what our priorities are. What are the influences that we are allowing into our life? And we all need a filter that filters out the bad influences and filters in the good influences. It sounds so simple, but I know so difficult. We all have certain situations and I know also certain times that there are people in our life that is really hard to keep our distance from. Obviously family members, sometimes it's easier to keep distance from friends and coworkers if they're really negative. But if you have a family member that's just so negative and glass half empty and what went wrong or that's just my luck, things of that sort, maybe it's time that you could have a conversation with them, not be spiteful, not be angry or raise your voice Tell them that you want to talk to them, hold their hand even, and tell them what's bothering you, what is important in your heart, in your life, and you want to improve on, and you want to improve together. That can be something that you can do today, not tomorrow, something that you can discuss with them, and y'all can improve that daily, and you can have more good influences coming from your family, your friends, and figure out which friends you want to have closer to your life, which coworkers you want to talk to more and work with more if you can choose. Um, this is huge. Your influences that you're bringing in your life can astronomically create regret or prevent you from having regret. And that's what we want, to stay away from regret as much as possible. So I hope this video has made an impact. This is something that I struggle with and we all struggle with, but being a good influence on each other, and I hope this is a good influence on you. And if it is, be sure to leave a comment for me, leave a like, and uh, I'll know that I impacted your life or somebody's life around you.